yet AIDS is decimating our country still. And we have relegated it to the back of the bus. If you want to be realistic, then you have to teach kids you, that there are responsibilities that go along with, with sex. We have to also say, look, it's best to abstain until you're ready for it. But we also have to say, but if you don't abstain, these are the ways that you can protect yourselves. But minimum is it's four hours. Four hours of education. We talk about family. We talk about love. We talk about relationships. You know, self-respect. We do talk about STDs. We do really get down to the nitty-gritty because these are things that are real. But do you really believe, I mean, if we're living in the now and being realistic, we aren't going to, everyone's not going to abstain from sex. Teen pregnancy has always, always been an issue in the United States. Has been an issue as, as long as most people can remember. And let me tell you, have we eradicated the problems that we have with teen sex? Because if we haven't eradicated those issues, then I can tell you, abstinence only programs, since they didn't work with that issue, tell me how they're gonna work with HIV and AIDS. The condoms are effective, but they're not 100%. And we let the kids be the judge of that. Do you want to gamble your life on something that's not secure? Or something that will leave a gap of you know, 30% or 20%? Which a condom, no matter what studies you've heard, the condom can't protect your heart, condom can't protect your mind, or it can't help you build self-esteem or make you feel any better or less guilty about having sex. So just like you see the consequences of those students that did not apply absence to their life, you also see those that did apply, those that made that, that change. And we do believe that it does make a big difference HIV and AIDS is preventable. And the more you tell people that, and the more you teach people that, then you arm them with the knowledge that they need not to become infected with HIV and AIDS.